Hello Gators, welcome to another edition of JNN. I'm and I, Uriah Dreyer. And I'm Ashlyn Calvert. Today is Tuesday, September 3rd, and here are your top stories. The PM1 test is scheduled for this week. All students in grade 9 and 10 will sit for the first progress monitoring test on Thursday, September 5th. These are computer-based EDUP tests that must be taken in a secure browser on a school issue Chromebook. Students who have arrive on campus that day who are not taking the test will be directed to the gym and remain there until the testing block is complete. FBLA will be holding their first meeting of the year tomorrow. You can join them at 3 o'clock in the Media Center. They will play icebreaker games, have refreshments, and talk about their plans for the school year. Boys soccer conditioning will take place every Friday in September. You, have, if you must have all your paperwork turned in and be cleared on Activate to participate. You can pick up an athletic packet outside of room 3124. For more information, email Coach McIntyre at Christopher.McIntyre at PalmBeachSchools.org. Attention girls interested in playing lacrosse in January. Please complete your athletic packet, your sports physical, and your three FHSAA courses and upload all of it to activate.com so you can participate in conditioning. You can also join the Girls Lacrosse Google Classroom using the code TEHQCBC for more info and announcements. If you are interested in joining the girls weightlifting team, please stop by the gym and see Coach Riviccio for an athletic packet. HOSA will be hosting the first blood drive of the school year on September 12th. You will receive community service hours for donating. You can sign up during all lunches this week. And now, let's check out the weather with Cosmo. Thanks, Uriah. I'm Cosmo Weber, and this is your JNN 5 Day Weather Forecast. Today, we can expect to see partly sunny skies throughout the day with a chance of some afternoon rain. Our highs will reach 87 degrees, and lows tonight will be in the 80s. For tomorrow and the rest of the week, we should, be, we should see partly sunny skies during the day with a 24% chance of rain in the late afternoon hours. Highs will be in the upper 80s, and lows will be in the upper 70s to low 80s. That's it for your JNN weather. Let's head back to our anchors. Thanks, Cosmo. Coach Carr is collecting sneakers again this year. One pair of shoes equals two hours of community service. Deliver your sneakers to 2113 anytime. Do you need clothing for homecoming, prom, graduation, or a special event? If so, see Ms. Evans in room 1208. She has formal wear for everyone, from amazing dresses to shoes and handsome suits, and it's all for free. So stop by room 1208 anytime. Yearbooks are currently on sale. You can order yours now for $85 by going to the yearbookordercenter.com or by scanning the QR code on the flyers posted around campus. Enter the order number 2637 when you log on. The price of the yearbook will increase after October 1st, so don't delay. Attention seniors, Caddy will be on campus on October 18th, November 15th, and December 6th. To schedule in the studio or on campus senior photo sessions, or you can go to www.caddy.com anytime to schedule your studio or campus photo shoot session. Underclassmen Picture Day is coming up. 9th and 10th and 11th graders will be taking their pictures on October 2nd in the auditorium. Attention junior magnet students, all 50 seats have been filled for the annual magnet college trip. Remember, payment is due by September 6th. Turn your payments into Ms. Kummerlin in room 3215. Here is your fun fact of the day. Did you know that Florida is now the third most populated state in the country? We recently just passed Northern State to earn that honor. Can you guess the state? While you think about it, let's see what's going on in sports with Kyron. Thanks, Ashton. I'm Kyron Finley, and this is your GNN Sports Support. Last week, our bowling team began their season. Let's check out some of their highlights.
Their next match is tomorrow afternoon at 3 o'clock. Good luck, Gators. Our girls volleyball team has an away match tonight against Dreyfus. The JV team starts at 6, followed by the varsity team at 7. And our varsity football team had a hard-fought game this past Friday against Santa Lucia's. Unfortunately, our Gators lost 20-13. to the guys' next game is this Friday night when they travel to Jupiter to take on the Warriors. Kickoff is set for 6.30. This is it for your GNN Sports Report. Let's head back to our anchors. Thanks, Kyron. Did you guess the state? The answer is New York. Well, that's all the news for today, Gators. Tune in tomorrow for another edition of GNN. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at YouTube at Palm Beach Gardens TV Film. For Cosmo Weber and Kyron Finley, I'm Uriah Dreyer. And I'm Ashlyn Calvert. And, and remember, remember, don't just be a Gator, be a greater Gator. gator. And have, have a great, great day. day.